So I'm going back to campus in the fall and apparently they made this orientation that we have to finish before we go back to campus. So I'm looking through that right now. Every morning, I'm going to do my daily health check. I'm going to focus on physical distancing. I'm going to wash my hands until I finish humming the victory march. And I'm going to wear my mask. I feel like back to school season this time around will be super hectic for a lot of students going back to campus. Most of the classes are offline as far as I know. Um, some of my friends are doing maybe one or two classes online, but my classes are all offline. Although I would like to sign up for at least one online, maybe in the early morning just so that I could wake myself up. It looks like they're making us sit two seats apart from each other in a fixed seat classroom. Two seats apart? I think that's usually how far I sit from people anyway because I don't like sitting right next to someone. There's this one video that's on Instagram, I think. My friend sent it to me. Since they can't fit everyone in the dining hall now that everyone has to be sitting so far apart from each other, they built these tents outside on campus. I don't know how that's gonna work. Okay, so I'm done with the orientation program. It was just reading and clicking through things. I need to complete this module. This is about sexual misconduct and sexual assault. And then the other one is about racial discrimination and classism. Hello, we are so excited to welcome you back to campus in just a few short weeks. A lot has changed since we last saw one another. I am recording a Zoom call from my office and I'm wearing a mask, which is part of our new norm here on campus. I have videos that are designed to reinforce that this is a campus that must be free of any type of discrimination. One, you can report the incident to the police and let it go through the criminal justice system. Okay, so I finished the modules. So that should be it. I'm just gonna have to wait for the COVID testing kit to arrive so that I could get that sent out. I'm gonna order some Panda Express. I always go half and half chow mein fried rice and Beijing beef. And then my mom wants half half orange chicken and Beijing beef. I'll be sorry. Looking at headlights from inside your window. It's cold in the is about to hit me so hard but I'm gonna join this anti-asian racism and COVID-19 seminar and that's gonna happen in three minutes a few examples of how racism has um, that we should really be thinking about and extending to all people right that they have to that throughout history both black and Asian people have had to justify their existence in the United States now, the thing I will say, because I think I recognize a few surnames, um, and you may, some of you may identify as Asian. I knew when I saw you, didn't care about the party. Wishing all of these people would just head out so we can talk. <laughs> I could tell by the smile when you asked where to write your name on my wall. Wish I met you at 16. Wish I could have taken you to prom. Better late than never I see us spending days together Sketching pictures up and singing songs Wondering what I did before you came along Or oh, you're just what I need The 
best part of me Somehow it keeps getting better I waited forever But better late than never Hi guys, it's the next day. I did my makeup. I'm gonna eat this Pori Guaza barley barley stick. <웃음> 물의 비중이 너무 큰거 아닙니까? 아니에요. 왜그물 대신 우유를 넣지 못하는 겁니까? 칼로리가 높잖아요. 그렇군요. 이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이